fractions how to calculate first a actual expenses done b first 5% of cost of project second 5% of capital employed whichever is higher c whichever is higher of this both in b whichever is higher of this both and whichever is lower of a and b will be allowed in 1/5 okay now in case of other than indian company 1/5 into a actual expenses b 5% of cost of project so now you tell me higher or lower here whichever is lower see the arrow whichever is lower will be allowed in 1/5 okay i hope this much is clear see actual expenses means all these expenses incurred firstly 1/5 one, one of the actual expenses or in case of b sorry there is a formula for this see in case of a indian company or in case of other than indian company that is indian residents so 1/5 in 5 equal parts it will be divided the first part will be allowed in the previous year the remaining parts will be allowed in 5 equal 5 equal assessment years so not assessment year next previous years uh so let's let's see first a actual expenses done second 5% of cost of project what is cost of project first we'll understand that cost of project is equal to means cost of fixed asset required in new business second cost of no cost of capital employed is equal to share capital plus long term borrowing long term borrowing means 7 years or more now our entire formula our entire theory that is given in the practice manual is covered in this two pages for section 35d that is preliminary expenses dope smurf drafting of moa other approved expenses project report engineering services shares and debenture issue expenses market survey underwriting commission registration fees feasibility report foreign collaboration expenses are allowed as deduction by indian company in the following manner 1/5 that is 1/5 if of this whichever will be higher and finally whichever will be lower the amount which will come divided by 5 that amount will be allowed in the previous year and the remaining part that is the four parts that are remaining will be allowed in the next previous years till 5 years uh, similarly in case of other than indian company that is indian that is indian resident 1/5 of the actual expenses or 5% of the cost of the project whichever is lower will be allowed divided by 5 will be allowed into previous year as the eligible expenses that is deduction cost of the project means cost of the fixed asset required in the business that is you whatever you are purchasing that purchasing the cost of the fixed asset you are purchasing will be taken as cost of the project capital employed will be share capital plus long term borrowings share capital plus long term borrowing 7 years or more then only it will be termed as long term borrowing resume the video for you all please copy the first two sections i hope now this is very clear to you all i hope you all have copied
now please copy 35d i want you all to copy this on a fresh page the remaining part which is which is there please leave it because this will come in one page in this will this this and this will come in one page so i want you all to copy this on a fresh page please pause the video and copy i hope you all have copied this much please copy first deductions i hope you all have copied this much please copy cost of the project i hope you all have copied this much now let's move on to other section that is section 35 dd d merger expenses or amalgamation expenses okay how to remember 35 dds demerger expenses or amalgamation expenses because in the practice manual they have just written section 35 d and they have given the description theory that what is there in this section but i have naming this as demerger expenses or amalgamating amalgamation expenses the expenses will be allowed the deduction will be allowed in the following manner 1/5 into actual expenses incurred this section say this much only 1/5 1/5 that is 1/5 of the expenses will be allowed as deduction in the previous year okay there is only this much in this section please pause the video and copy this so our 35 series are completed now let's move on to new page i also want you all to take a new page because this is a theory if you keep it very clean you will feel like to revise it very fast if your books turn into sharp uh, if you if your books turn into very like the pages turned very what to say the page, with the pages turned very uh, get crumbled and all then you don't feel like studying in, in from such book so better keep your book clean and tidy don't throw don't give it to anyone give it to everyone whoever needs it but ask them to take care of your book okay so now let's start with the series of section 36 that is specified deductions specified deduction the first one the first one is employers this is r employers Wait, employers contribution to approved funds i have started pgpp first before starting salary so you all might find little bit difficulty over here if you are seeing the video plus first see my salary video because this specified deduction for approved funds i have i'll be teaching in salary so let's start let's draw a chart employers contribution otherwise not allowed as deduction okay employees contribution to first approved gratuity approved gratuity fund and second approved provident fund will be allowed 
on paid basis on paid basis that is the 